All right, we're back again in the CCAN for episode four. And this is gonna be lighting and electrical and a little bit of data as well. So I'm gonna do my best at explaining lighting layout, some pipe layout, some panel layout, why and how I chose to do things this way. Everything in the CCAN build electrically is gonna be pretty much to a commercial standard. We're doing surface EMT, we're doing a commercial panel, um, we're doing hard, hard wire, some Cat6 in here for Ethernet because you know you're in a Faraday cage of a CCAN. Wi-Fi will not be that penetrate very well from the house on the property. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Let me just bring you up to speed with the plan. I'll walk you around. Front main doors of the CCAN, temporary baseboard, a couple other heaters, which I just got one in the mail. Side note, material, other material. There's our splitter and panel, panel guts, other parts, lots of electrical tools. Um, anyway, so yeah, the plan is we have a three inch DB2 conduit that runs from the crawl space of the house, which is where we're gonna be feeding everything from, including uh, potentially water in that, but as well, there's gonna be um, ACW for power feed, a Armored Cat 6, anything else we want in the future that comes up out of there, so it's just, P clamped on a couple pieces of strut, duct sealed in the ground, bell end. It has a couple pieces of cab tire pulled through it for temp power right now. But anyways, we're gonna have a panel and probably like some sort of data distribution just above it here. Main panel, two inch EMT, 90s into a splitter on the ceiling, which is then gonna surface down a pipe rack down the ceiling, both whales from that. So everything's nice and neat and organized and it's down the center ceiling of the C-CAN, we're gonna have five vapor tight LED fixtures from RAB that I've started to break down so we can lay out and start mounting lights. So that's the order of operations here on this project is we're gonna be putting the lights up, piping them, wiring them, and then removing the temp lights, putting a cord in on these lights, and then we will start on mounting the panel and pulling the feed in for the panel and getting rid of the temp feeds. Um, there's going to be a couple 220, 20 amp outlets, probably one right below the panel. There's going to be a permanent unit fixture heat there, exhaust fan in the back, other plugs for some CNC. Everything is going to be pretty much 20 amp plugs, except the only 20 amp circuit will probably be the lighting. You guys ready for a little bit of bad picture math for layout of lights? Here's the C-CAN, here's our five fixtures, here's the panel, here's the distribution box, here's a JB to feed the conduit that will jump from each to each. A bit of math on how big the fixture is and how much interior size we have ends up with a 21 and a half inch space, fixture 43, fixture 43, and so on. So we did some math. I've already put up the first one. First piece of pipe because there's 43 between fixtures and that makes it roughly 44 and a smidge, a smidge piece of half inch EMT with the offsets and everything. Fixture, and then the same, and then the same. So then, quick more math just to check how we're doing for spacing. We are, math goes to 250, 259 inches to the end of the third fixture. Got the tape measure and the laser set up. So we're shy by about an inch. So, I am pleased enough with that so going on we'll just make them 44 and a couple smidges and that's within my tolerance for lighting layout even though this next portion is going to have the JB in it between these two fixtures and then you know this blank gray area that will become a very congested electrical distribution on the ceiling but yeah so that's my methodology this is how it's going Let's keep going.
All right, so we got the lights up, and I just got them on a cord end out of the JB real quick tied in, which can be temporary while we do the rest of the work. So string lights, 98 watts worth of LED power. Five of these fixtures, just above 300 watts. So uh, I'm gonna try and uh, do this in the dark, and then you and I are gonna see this for the first time together. Man, that's an even light spread. Very nice, very nice. All right, so right now we're uh, pulling out one of the uh, two temporary power feeds we had in our conduit. I guess we're going to use the other one to pull our new bundle of piping cable in. All right, so here we are. We're setting up our pull from the crawl space under my house. We have number two ACWU for power. It could be on a 60 amp, but you could go up to 80 or 90, I believe, in a code we're currently on. Uh, Armored Cat 6 for data. Two pieces of PEX, one for air, one for water for future use. A one pull rope for future use. We're just making the head of the head of the snake, as you could say. We're going to tie it onto the one cab tire, and we're going to slowly rip it back into the sea can. All right, we're probably three quarters way through the pole. I just want to give you an update. Not going bad, just hard to manage under here. A little chaotic. Hey, have it! So we got the cables pulled. Um, we got them temporarily fastened below here, um, just on the ACW, the power feed. I uh, already glanded it. Saw me ripping off the arm there, I believe. But we're just gonna quickly terminate it, and then I'm gonna terminate the other end in the house, so then we can have um, 240 volt power back in the C-CAN. But I thought I'd take this time while I'm doing this to do talk about the conduit that's buried under the ground. So it's a three inch DB2 conduit that was buried in the summer when I dug a trench and had a, a little excavator here to do it. And it was very, very convenient timing to do it. And uh, a couple of photos I'm showing you here. So it's uh, large radius 90 out of the footing of the house, out of the crawl space you saw before. And then it's about two feet deep all the way to the sea can and the 90 is up comes through the floor right here. About a foot above in the dirt, there's some uh, do not dig tape and uh, Bob's your auntie.
All right, so as you can see, big progress. I uh, did a good maybe 60% of the roughing and we got to the let's just get a move on part of this project so then we can have an intermission, do other things, then finish electrical later. Um, so yeah, finish 60% of the pipe out, rough in, whatever you wanna call it. Got a good chunk of the boxes let up, so I'm gonna start pulling some wire here, terminating some devices, and let me just give you a little tour of what's the stage we're at and what we're doing and then what we'll be doing later. Okay. All right, so have we seen panel, couple circuits down there for power currently, future PEX lines, data coming into this 20 by 20 um, by six deep junction box inside here. I'll show you, it'll be in there. I uh, got a receptacle that'll have power, but it's separated from the data to maintain separation, which is nice. Um, just nipple LB into our splitter, giant JB, whatever you want to call it. Um, our seven pipe runs, if I count correctly, I think that's seven. Yep. Yeah. Um, all the way down, two for future near the back for CNC and fan, one off for our lights, and then that'll also probably carry plugs to this wall in the future. And then we have two to the right, turned down for light switches and some plugs there. That's gonna be a thermostat, it'll come back up. And then this pipe run, the third one over, is for the heater, that will go back there. And then the next one turns down for bench plugs and some bench lights. We put in two little um, new style G10 or G20, GU25, I think, bulbs. I'd have to check the name on them. In there, light switch there, a couple bench plugs. And that's rough in so far. Some future stuff, some stuff we'll be doing right now. But anyways, let's get to pulling some wire. And then I will explain a quick little chat about wire before we start just pulling it. Um, I sized everything in the C-cap. Everything's gonna be done in the same number 12 solid because it's just that much more available than stranded at this point in time and slightly cheaper. However, stranded is nicer to work with. This is an X-Link coated solid copper. So it's called RW90 in the part of the world I'm in. It can be called different things elsewhere, I do believe. Um, generally in Canada, we could downsize our bond or negate it completely because we're running metal conduit. However, in some spec, you always pull a bond. And by chance, where I purchased it, I got a pretty good deal in the same size. So we're still pulling number 12 bond, even though it could be 14 or forgotten about completely. But we're doing it anyways, little overkill. Fair enough, right? Overkill. But yeah, so we got, because we're not three phase here, we're single phase. Um, Three wire servers, three wire sub panel. There's no blue, but there is a red and a black and we're maintaining the red and black to each line coming from the house as if this was an environment where you have three colors and you have to maintain phase rotation and coloring throughout. Um, but yeah, let's get pulling.
All right, there we go. I'm gonna call this the first half of electrical done. We've done about 60, 60% as I said before. I just finished pulling the wire, terminating the wire. You saw a little bit about that this time around. I'm gonna wrap this one up and do electrical in two parts. Wait till I get my computer CNC, get the network up in here, finish a couple other things, not finish, but until I get to the point of doing that, this is gonna be the end and I'm gonna move on to episode five, building a shelf, figuring out the exhaust fan and stuff like that. But let me give you one final walk around for what we have done so far. Sub panel off the house, main panel for CCAN, it's only gonna be one. Um, light circuit, plugs, bench circuit. This is heat, it, it's tripped because this breaker's never been turned on, just as a side note. Um, these two are off just because they make a noise while I'm filming. But otherwise, splitter, you saw the wiring before. Gonna be a, a switch cabinet, got a plug in there. You know, very nice, you saw it all before. I don't know. Make sure you guys get your comments in, get, ask your questions. It'll be a little bit before I get the, uh, the next one, the next half of electrical wrapped up to show you guys. Got the bench lights on, night lights, bench lights. You know, help reduce some shadows while you're working on things. Nice, doesn't do too much, but I like it, I like it. It's also nice and soft, a little bit softer than the hard white. Those lights, they're nice and soft. All right, I don't really know what else to tell you guys, except, uh, yeah, have a good one. Get the nice cinematic view of Ryan running through the snow. Wasn't that fun? Hey, how much longer?